Just five more minutes, then we'll go. I'm making a new friend, you know. And I know I'm high, but I was so low. It's such an awesome cycle. And like my friend already said, if you don't ask, then I won't tell. Instead of that, we'll just pretend that no one ever knows. So take these opportunities out. Tie me to some straight stout mast, but 
But don't pluck my ears or gag my mouth There's still some things that need doing Take my choices all the way Tell me how to feel and what to say And maybe I'll find some peace someday Without these opportunities Without these opportunities Without these opportunities Without these opportunities Thank you. I might do this one now. I live uh, in Tasmania and just arrived here yesterday on the plane and I'm exciting to be somewhere else apart from Tasmania, <laughs> much as I love it. Um, but we live by the ocean, very, very lucky, uh, blessed in fact, I think, um, to live where we do and it's a beautiful spot and um, get to go down to the beach and um, I sometimes make up stupid songs for my partner, her name's Jacqueline and um, this is a song I sort of wrote for her one day just as a joke and then it sort of spiral out of control. Um, and this has a dance that goes with it. Um, just a swing, if you know how to swing, you can do the dance. So. I'm not, there's not gonna be a lot of other opportunities to do any dancing during my set, or even to do any, hear anything that's in a major key. So, you know, I would say grasp these slim shafts of light while you can. Well, I'm, not, I'm not a sad person, but you know, the song's just a little bit, it's cool to be dark, you know. It's sound weird, I do it. Oh, no dancing, all right. Well, no dancing, please. Just when you think, chair dance is fine, or just think about it, just think about dancing. Yeah, right, okay. Beg your pardon, sorry, I forgot about that. But anyone else got anything they'd like to add to the conversation before I do this song? You know, it's actually supposed to be about me, all right? But I'm glad that someone told me that you can't dance. No dancing, please. Just think about swimming. Get, get it in your head. This song's called Remember When We Went For A Swim. I normally have like a nice danceable loop, but we'll issue that for this rendition. Your 
the strangest person I've ever met. No offense, but you're the strangest I've met. And remember when we went into battle? the traditional owners of the land here. Great. All right. Well, I just want to, before I go any further, acknowledge the traditional owners and um, excuse my ignorance um, of the land where I'm the Paramount people, all the elders, past, present and emerging, um, and acknowledge always was and always will be Aboriginal land. And I always want to um, also acknowledge the current caretakers, uh, uh, John and everyone here, for having me back again. It's really wonderful to be here. So. Um, on that note, I'm going to do this song of um, an album I released um, late last year called The Mythic Plane, and I have it here on uh, vinyl and CD. Um, and this song's called Burn Flags.
song earlier I've never heard the version that was on it was great to hear so hopefully he'll sing along to this one as well oh this God. is a song by the uh... <laughs> <laughs> nice do you hear that he was having a go <laughs> it's good stuff um, anyway this is a song by a band called the ink spots from the um, 1930s United States vocal group um, and this song's um, also for any fans of the Fallout video game franchise. That went to a strange place, didn't it? <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. All right, this song's called I Don't Want to Set the World on Fire. That one is you 
set the world on fire I love you too much I just want to start a great big flame in your heart because you see honey in my life See that massive reverb that's on my pedal? It's just sort of echoing into infinity. It's sort of bothering me, so I'm just going to try and fix it very quickly. One, two. Doesn't matter. A bit more. Oh, I've got some reverb fans. I like it. Don't get me started. I've got this one. You just have this one on all the time. <laughs> hey, I might do um, a couple more and then have a little bit of a break. What do you think about that? Yeah, I don't want to check the fucking footy score. Don't give anything away, though, please. Do us a favour, Macclesfield. <laughs> Leave it out. All right. Um, I'm going to do something very unconventional and just do another cover for you in a row. What do you think about that? Woo! <laughs> Thank you. 
said, I hope and pray a dream lover will come my way. A girl to hold in my arms. I know the magic of her charms because I want a girl to call my own. I want a dream lover so I don't have to dream alone. Dream lover, where are you? With a love oh so true At hand that I can hold I feel you near as I grow old Because I want a girl to call my own I want a dream lover so I don't have to dream alone. Someday, I don't know how, I hope she'll hear my plea. Some way, I don't know how, she'll bring her love to me. Dream lover, until I'll go to sleep and dream again. That's the only thing to do till all my lover's dreams come true because I want a girl to call my own. I want a dream lover so I don't have to dream alone. Thomas has been here. Um, I don't know if you're all familiar with Mick Thomas. Did anyone come and see Mick when he played? Excellent work. Mick is a very uh, good friend of mine and um, incredible songwriter. Um, played in a band called Weddings Parties, anything that I'm sure you've all heard of. And um, I can tell from that set list over there that Mick was here. Also, beer supplies are probably perilously low. <laughs> Mick and I have been lucky enough to work with Mick on a few things and one of them, uh, lots of convict related stuff um, to do with Tasmania, my new home and um, we worked on a project called Vandemonian Lags a few years ago which was uh, the stories of convicts sent to Tasmania um, uh, set to sort of song and, and I was lucky enough to write this song for that project uh, and this is a song about a guy named Thomas uh, Doherty or Doherty as he pronounced it and they still pronounce it um, and he was uh, sent for some sort of minor political thing from Ireland and um, sent to Tasmania and when he finally got out he did a lot of uh, extra time because he was very poorly behaved and when he finally got out he decided to go to the most remote part of Tasmania, the west coast and um, his family was the first family to log the human pines there. Um, back then a very... Um, lonely, arduous sort of task, but uh, it's a very beautiful part of the world. And anyway, this song is about him and, um, and it's called Doherty. And it goes like this. It does get lonely out here, I'll admit. Amongst the sassafras trees in the rain and the mist But no lonelier than a 
itself A worse the night dies in pitch black That's where you face everything Your God, your desires and your sin So while sometimes it's lonely out here On the Gordon It's good to be free So it's Doherty You see And I'll say it how the hell that it suits me to be And I travel up river And I cut down the trees And I'm free People, they say that we're tough That with mauled fingers and broken hands We rode for miles and miles They say that we're made of much sterner stuff Well, that's what they say But I'll tell you what's rough No control, no control I got sent here for nothing For trying to ease all my woe and my suffering But that wasn't suffering First they pack you so tight that you can't even breathe In the heat or the cold then they leave you to fester all by yourself Well there's rats I suppose there's always plenty of those And rowing a while ain't so bad Through endless forests of hewn and sassafras and it's Doherty, and I'm free. And I row up river, up the great Gordon River, and I fell the tall trees. And I'm free, and I'm free. Down here in this lonely corner of the sea And I'm sure that there are other places And a million new faces From the west, further north, to the east Here's me and my family So far from the powers that be And we're free And we're free And we're free Thanks so much, everyone. I'll see you real soon. I'm just going to kick back and I'll be back. Thank you.
Live among the fractured nations And in between the speed cameras I curse myself And I put a spell on me Too many feature lights Concertina nights I could go on and on And I probably will I live beside the railway station Not so much a destination As a way of life I was younger then Too many scratches still And how can you be a writer? I live among the fractured nations And in between the speed cameras I curse myself And I put a spell on you Too many feature lights Concertina nights I could go on and on And I probably will I live beside the railway station Not so much a destination As a way of life I was younger then Too many scratchy stills And how can you be a writer? How can you be a writer? How can you be a writer? Thank you. That was a song I wrote with a man by the name of Kieran J. Callan. I don't know if any of you are familiar with his work. Uh, this next song is called I've Gotta Move. It explains why I was born in Townsville and now live in Tasmania. Although there's a few other things that could explain that. Speak ill of any of the world. Thanks for being such a wonderful uh, audience. This is just really lovely. Thank you. Just where to be going? That is what I'd like to know. And I don't mean to. 
to be right I got a I've got some albums here for sale, so come and see me. We do have FPOS facilities. <laughs> Everyone's like, ooh, FPOS facilities. Um, but I've, I've released, like, I've got five solo albums now, um, which is crazy. And um, on the last two, I've sort of just released myself and recorded myself. And the first three were sort of done in studios and spent lots of money on them and stuff. But the, the the most recent two are very loose and sort of semi-improvisational and um, I'm very proud of them and um, I'm going to do this, the title track from the most recent one which is called The Summer of the Loud Birds um, and this is the title track and uh, I, I normally, I have this like drum machine thing, I have a recorder, a tenor recorder but I didn't set them up and I'm just going to do this really minimally but that's okay. Everyone's going, oh, Missing out on the recorder. <laughs> but we will do a little drone because drones are right. Like a mainframe on its last legs Such am I I'm good for just maybe one more update Just passing by swimming around behind my eyes that I have so many questions of the daylight diminished agency slow on the uptake strange currency indeed in the summer of the lab birds flying through the sky it was during the summer of the lab birds and that's the reason Um, I'm going to do um, 
has took me down before from Ireland uh, and it made me think of, of Ireland. You too. Um, I'm not going to do a U2 song. <laughs> You know, this is what Mick Thomas told me this once. He's like, never give the audience any air. So <laughs> don't give them any air, because you never know what you're going to get back. I don't think I even gave anyone any air then. I was just talking about my new friend Darren. Everyone takes off with bands from... It's not trivia, all right? Name a band from Ireland. But I thought I just got to thinking about... So this is more of an English thing, which is boo, boo. This is more of an English sort of... Anyway, it's, I'm just going to do a folk song for you, okay? It's, it's, I should never have gone into this. just play the fucking song, really. It's more like a Bert Jenich or that sort of vibe. But there's two options for this tuning, and they're both instrumentals, so um, and maybe we'll do a little vote. Once again, I'm giving you way too much air here. <laughs> But we'll do a little vote. Um, one is called German Tourist, and one is called All the Things. So let's see hands, show of hands for German Tourist. Let's see show of hands for All the Things. All, all the dumb things. I think All the Things maybe just has it. That's good because I prefer that one. I just do both of them. I can do what I want, really. That's why I got into this business. Drink a beer on the job. Mm. <laughs> but this song always makes me think of the British Isles, I guess, or Ireland and uh, that part of the world. And this song's called All the Things. song in Dublin, so it was originally just called Dublin. I knew there was a fucking link. All right, here we go.
So the album I released before, um, some of the it's called The Mythic Plane. So they both have really great cover art, even if you don't like records or music or anything. Um, surely you must love art. And that's, uh, that's The Mythic Plane there, represented quite well. Um, and there's the back cover, it's great. It's both my friends, it's my friend Christian and my friend um, Martin who did the art for that. Anyway, so this is a song off um, that album and it's called uh, It Became a Thing. We've gone from all the things to It Became a Thing. Any questions? No, no way. Temptation uh, for me, particularly when there's silence, to just fill it with mindless prattle, and so I'm just going to continue to do that because um, I don't, I don't get quite awkward. You'd think if you got a bit awkward when there was silence and you're on stage, you'd probably get a different pr profession. But Everybody ready? Tonight. <laughs> I reckon you should. Overdub's going to substantially improve your enjoyment of this song. It's not just some affectation or anything.
So we go driving in our car, grappling with the old bait noir. And on the radio, it's all demo Ciado. Then it became a thing. I never felt, never felt that sting. Then it became a thing. I always thought someday that I'd be king. such a rustic venue um, but you know I'm really heavily into video games and video game culture and I know it's not it's a very cool thing to admit to or say but it's true so that's the most important thing and um, I guess everyone here's probably played heaps of video games so just need to own up to it embrace it um, it's the you know it's the biggest industry in the entertainment world you know, by far it's crazy not that that's the main thing anyway um this next song there's a lot of references to um games and gaming in, in my songs and this song is called uh, golden axe i'm not sure if anyone's familiar or remembers that game from their childhood um it used to be in the fish and chip shop it's like you could play as like a barbarian or a, a viking or a dwarf and um you you know kill things and Anyway, this song's not really about that game, but it references that game, so it's sort of important for you to know that, that that's a, a video game, all right? So, just so we establish those ground rules. This is a song about, um, I guess, getting old, and this song's called Golden Axe. And it goes like this. <laughs> Crashing boredom and punishment Bodies thrashing round in the wet cement We're upgrading your experience Pick me up from the airport At 10.30pm we can come back home and begin again. 
One gesture is as good as another Well, that's been the story all along How do you think I wrote this song? Crashing boredom and punishment Bodies thrashing round in the wet cement We haven't seen the last of it Not yet We need to figure out what key the um, cash register's in And then we can just do all the songs and just be accompanying Do the it's cash register solo Sometimes the sadness overtakes me Something I see in a supermarket aisle just overwhelms me Like something's trying to break me Shouldn't be so hard to keep the beast at bay with take away every other night and asleep in every other day. And so many video games. It used to be so easy to stay on track. We'd ride our bikes to the blockbuster for VHS or Betamax. and golden axe. Well, I guess I must be getting old. Lighting fires to keep the snakes at bay. Just like Harrison Ford when he played Indiana Jones. timid and I'm pale but I'm just delighted that we made it this far it's all philosophical you've got to play the cards you dealt draw four and begin again Myself sad. Oh. Oh. Hey, so the other thing I've got here for sale is um, just to keep the sales routine happening. Um, is some albums by my band, The Gin Club. So is anyone familiar with The Gin Club? No, great. That's what happens when you don't do any shows for four years. Well, The Gin Club is a great band. We were based in Brisbane and uh, we did like six albums. We're still sort of ostensibly together, but we just haven't done anything for a while. I thought I'd do one of the songs from... Um, Maybe from this album. So this is our debut album. It's from 2003. Uh, and it's called um, The Gin Club. <laughs> and it's a double album. And so The Gin Club is like seven different songwriters and we all take turns and we're really into the band and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, if it's a great album. You should definitely buy it. Um, but I... Um, this song on that album and I, I saved up a lot of because my first band was like a really heavy rock like stoner rock band the first band that ever sort of did anything um, did lots of tours we were called giants of science and we're still sort of together as well um but then i also had all these solo songs and i sort of saved them all up and i was always doing solo gigs and i ended up um, using a few for this gin club uh, album so this is a song that i wrote you know over 20 years ago which i can't believe keeping with the theme of getting old. 
I always like, I was thinking before when I had someone say, oh, back in 2005 or back in 2008, and I was, for me, when I was like growing up, I was like, there's 2001 and that's it. Like anything past 2001 is like this crazy talk, you know? I was like, but now here we, here we are, it's 2020. And it's just as crazy as maybe we imagined. Maybe a little bit crazier. Anyway, but this is a song I wrote um, in like, what, 1997. This song's called You Don't See. So we're going to do some maths. Let's do some fucking maths. You ready? I'm 43. You do the maths. You lucky bastard. You're lucky to be 43 again. Lucky, lucky bastard. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate this. This is good. I feel very young now. Um, I'm going to 
going to do another song from the Mythic Plane. How do you feel about that? This song is called um, De Rien, which anyone who understands any French will know it means, uh, well, it means literally it's nothing. But the French say that instead of you're welcome because that's what the French are like. Um, if you say, oh, thank you very much for the beautiful um, baguette you've brought me, they would say De Rien. It's nothing. So this song is called De Rien. And it goes like this. Oh, that has a sing along. Oh, Woo! <laughs> it's still out there. <laughs> so, on the, as I was explaining to someone earlier, on the albums, none of these songs sound anything like this. It's a difficult sell. On the album, this is actually sort of an electro banger. Well, I like to think it is. But I present it to you here now. It's a delicate acoustic ballad. You're staying in a lot more these days. You're getting a bit crazed, waylaid with the mother. nothing they've taken your bread and your baby away and you've got nowhere to go you've got nowhere to stay but it's nothing it's absolutely nothing you might bash your head in a bingle you might have a partner Perhaps you are single. Well. The sun's getting bigger and brighter. The sights and the sounds of the Far East delight her. But it's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. Uh, pay attention. Oh, absolutely nothing. Oh, nothing. All right, let's try it now because you're ready. ready. Oh, absolutely nothing. Kinda hung up on the discourse Or you're so full of remorse Or you're out on the golf course <laughs> Nothing <laughs> You're growing so tired of your childhood Or you just want to get good Try and be understood it's nothing. It's really, really nothing. Well, you're tired of living in this shithole. In the summer, it's so hot. In the winter, it's so cold. But it's nothing. It's really, really nothing. Saw you peeking through those entrails, getting hung up on the details, staring at those chemtrails. <laughs> but it's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. Come on, Maxwell!
in case it needed pointing out that I sing um, Tired of Living in This Shit Hole no matter where I play. So I'm not referring to Macclesfield, which is obviously a fairly nice sort of a place. Anyway, I'm glad we got that sorted out. dedicated to my beloved um, Jacqueline who's back in Tasmania holding the fort, going to work, doing all those res normal responsible things that I'm incapable of doing and she's the absolute best and I love her to death and um, this song's called um, Isolationism. I wrote this with my really dear friend Connor McDonald from the Gym Club actually who's also got an amazing, all these people in this band have got incredible um, solo stuff and yeah, anyway. Dead weight that none of you have heard of the gym club, but now I guess I'll learn to do and I'll cry myself to sleep. Or anyway, here we go.
Because I drank too much beer. Should have just stuck to Jameson, but that's another iteration of me just trying to keep it real, you know? Just trying to keep it as real. Yes, I also need to go to the toilet sometimes, and that might seem weird, but yeah, we'll stop talking about that. I'm going to do this song um, that I wrote with a guy by the name of Marlon Williams. Anyone here heard of Marlon Williams? Yeah. He's a bit of a absolute legend. I, I totally defamed him on the radio this afternoon. It's funny, like every time I, I talk about this song, and I played this on 3D this afternoon and I was like, yeah, this is the song I wrote with Marlon. He's just the worst guy you'll ever meet. He's really ugly. He's um, awful, you know, because anyone who's ever seen him or knows anything about Marlon knows that the opposite is true. But then someone came up to me fairly recently and was like, hey, so what happened? Is he in Marlon? I was like, nothing. What do you mean? Oh, you were saying he's really shit guy. I'm like, that's a joke. It's a joke because he's so nice. Oh, right. Okay. So I have to sort of now uh, introduce that caveat to say we're actually really good friends and he's a really nice guy. He's a little bit too nice, if you know what I mean. A little bit too nice, too good at singing. <laughs> anyway. But um, this one's going out to him. He's over in uh, New Zealand. He has been for quite some time. Good place to be at the moment. But he's going to be a big... Well, he's already a big star. He's a film star. Just a star. And a beautiful man. And we wrote this song in his um, hometown of Littleton, which is like the port of Christchurch. If any of you went to New Zealand, you would be familiar with it, maybe. And absolutely the most beautiful little town. And it's uh, the old cal caldera of an of a extinct volcano, you know, so the port's like round. And New Zealand's an incredible place. Anyway, we were, we were like, let's write a song together. We should do it. And I'm like, what can we write a song about? And I just, speaking of Trump, I, I've just... This was like maybe three years ago now, and Trump was just got into power, and I'm like, I've got to go and pick something up from where I'm staying, and I turned on the radio, and it was just like, you know, nuclear missiles are about to be, you know, Trump this, and everything's fucked, essentially, and I was like, oh, we should write a song about, you know, the end of the world, and he was like, cool, I think we should call it End of Days, and he was like, okay, cool, so we wrote this song, and it's also about cricket, so... I'm hoping that these dreadful feelings will go away. Hey, hey, hey. Everybody's talking about the end of days. Baby.
song now, it's the title track to my second album, which I don't have any copies of because I owe ABC too much money. Um, and they were a very good label. I was on the ABC music label for a while and they were fantastic. And they don't actually take any money from the public, it's not taxpayer funded thing. So I should just pay them so I can get some merch. <laughs> anyway, there's a shit story and this is a great song. It's called The Stars of My Destination. It goes like this.
Thank you so much, Mothersfield. Thanks, John, for having me. And everyone here, Jacob, everyone behind the bar. I'm just going to leave it there, I think, um, so we can all have a beer and you can all come and buy all of this stuff as much as you can carry. Um, empty out your bank account. Thank you. Such a wonderful gig. Um, each and every one of you, thank you for coming along and thank you for listening. Um, please stay in touch. I've got a mailing list and all that kind of stuff. Ben Salter, really appreciate it. What a great, great night. Thank you very much. See you.